Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Zero Marginal Cost Society, The Internet of Things, The Collaborative Commons, and The Eclipse of Capitalism. The widespread use of the Internet has enabled us to access more and more free products and services. For example, every day we are using Google's search engine, Facebook's online social networking platform, and online courses from the massive online open course or MOOC, all for free. We can also watch videos made by bloggers and read news and articles from different media outlets without having to pay a dime. While enjoying these free services, we are constantly amazed by the fact that the internet has brought about such great convenience to our daily life. However, have you ever imagined a situation, where one day, almost everything in our society will be free? This idea might sound a bit crazy to you. But the book we are going to unlock today The Zero Marginal Cost Society describes the exact same scenario. It predicts that in the near future we will be entering an era where nearly all goods and services will be free. What drives this change is the power of zero marginal cost. If you find this idea to be quite far-fetched, the author's next point of view will then be quite mind-blowing for you. Here, he also argues that zero marginal costs will eventually lead to the collapse of the economic system of capitalism in the next 30 to 50 years, in which all of society will then enter the era of collaborative commons. However, if you disagree with what the author thinks, don't rush to refute his points. Let's first take some time to understand what has led the author to put forward these claims. In the following bookie we will tell you about them in more detail. Let's first get to know the author Jeremy Rifkin. He is the president of the Foundation of Economic Trends in Washington, D.C. and an esteemed and visionary social critic. He has been an advisor to the European Union and many countries around the world. He is also a lecturer at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Some of you may have read another book he wrote The Third Industrial Revolution which has been translated into more than 20 languages and become a global bestseller. The book we are going to unlock today The Zero Marginal Cost Society presents his elaborated thought process on the massive changes happening in our society, building upon his thoughts from his previous book The Third Industrial Revolution. Next, we will unlock the essence of this book for you in the following three parts. Part 1 Understanding the Zero Marginal Cost Society Part 2 – The Technologies that Give Rise to the Zero Marginal Cost Society Part 3 – The Influence of the Zero Marginal Cost Society on Us First, let's start with Part 1 – Understanding the Zero Marginal Cost Society We will begin by answering these following two questions – What is margin, and what is marginal cost? Margin means additional and marginal cost is the increase in the total cost of each new product produced. For example, it costs an extra $10,000 to pay for electricity and manpower every time an auto manufacturer makes a new car. This additional cost of $10,000 is the marginal cost of making a new car by an auto manufacturer. The initial cost for a car manufacturer to produce the first car is very high, because it includes not only the cost of labor, materials among others, but also the capital cost of investing in the production line. However, as the number of cars being manufactured increases, the cost of initially building a production line will be evenly distributed to each car. As more and more cars are produced, the marginal cost will decrease accordingly. The so-called zero marginal cost is an extreme case where the total cost increment approaches zero for each additional product produced. Economists have long argued that the most efficient economic system is one in which consumers bear only the marginal cost of what they purchase, and the free market known as the invisible hand keeps pushing the price of goods closer to this marginal cost. In other words, how much money we consumers spend on a product should be exclusively dependent on the marginal cost. As the marginal cost approaches zero, consumers get goods or services nearly for free. In a capitalist economic system, we are unconditionally convinced